Testing one, two, and a trois. Okay, we're live. Hi guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials for another really cool, exciting video about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, we're going to look at how you can use your hands to pilot a jet fighter in DCS using hand tracking technology. And I'm going to be showing you the, it's going to be using the HP Reverb G2 today mostly. And talking about the HP Reverb G2, you can win, just a reminder, a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP themselves who will send you to one of the lucky winners in commemoration of the 10,000 subscribers on the channel. Cyber Shoes will also be sending a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes to one of you lucky guys too. I'll be giving you a Personally, a $50 voucher to any keys platforms that you want, whether it's a Quest, Viveport, or Steam, you get to choose. And also a fourth lucky winner will get various different keys from various different people. So do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe for the details of the competition entry of that video. All right, so let's transition over. By the way, guys, welcome to you if you're new to the channel and a huge welcome back and hi again to our regular views and regular subscribers. Now, I went online, of course, as you know, uh, we have been sent the IR170 by Ultraleap. If I just show you very quickly, which is this one here, it's on our Pico Neo 3. So this is the IR170 by Ultraleap, which enables you to basically use hand tracking. And then for the HP Reverb G2, there's actually a 3D printed mount that they sent me that you just put on top like so, and then boom, you slot it in. Uh, however, the product that's been tested, this is the evaluation kit, just to let you know. So let me show you first the uh, actual product that Ultraleap, uh, that has been in the testing. So if you go to ultraleap.com's website very quickly, and then I'll just go to tracking, there we go, and then we just go down. This is the actual one um, that they, that has been in testing, if you wish, of all the various different people uh, who have been using Motion Leap technology with a DCS to be able to pilot the jets using their hands. Now, for those who, of course, are not familiar with uh, what, uh, you know, what, what DCS is, DCS is a really amazing dog fighting jet piloting jet fighters game uh, where you can recreate battles and basically have dog fights. So it's a bit like, you know, Star Wars Quadrants, but earthbound and not intergalactically bound. The graphics are absolutely smashing. Um, the, the ability to feel like you're in a real plane really feels amazing. I've actually tried DCS myself, but because my GPU is down at the moment, I'm waiting for my power supply uh, to come. Um, basically, you know, I, I've looked at so many other people's videos just to try and get a glimpse as to what it would be like to actually uh, use the Ultra Leap system in order to, you know, fly an actual jet. So at the moment it's DCS World 2.7. So let me just play the actual uh, video as I talk with you. So this is the trailer of the actual DCS itself. There are timestamps below guys, but look at this. The graphics look absolutely sublime. The biggest difference between this, of course, and Microsoft Windows 2020 is that there's no dogfighting in Microsoft Windows 2020. It's purely, you know, fly commercial jets and, you know, go for a nice, uh, a nice tour of the skies, let's say. This is a little bit more interactive, you know, when you get to play with various different people and all this kind of stuff. But the graphics look absolutely sublime. Of course, it's preferable that you use, you have a good PC uh, so that you can have really good PC VR. But I'm really excited to see what people have to say using the Ultra Leap system because there's no better way to train to learn how to really fly plane other than when you're using your actual hands because when you're using controllers it's it's not the same right it's just not the same you don't have the same hands-on approach i mean it is pretty scary as to what you can see here uh you know in 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 <laughs> in the trailer it looks very much like you're about to overtake the world and go to war right uh, but at the same time you know um I don't know, does the army use DCS to train their pilots? Who knows, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna use, or they have their own, of course, hand tracking system. But if they didn't, then I'm pretty sure they could use the DCS, uh, the, the Ultra Leap system. So let's see what Ultra Leap has to offer, um, you know, when we look at various different 
uh, different different videos. Now, the first vi the first thing is that people need to make sure that when they uh, have the Ultra Leap system, apparently. You actually have to, let me just stop the flashing. You actually have to go into the actual DCS settings. This is using a Varjo uh, 3 headset. You actually have to go inside of the DCS settings itself and enable the Ultra Leap system inside of the specials tab. So apparently that's what you need to do after you've actually downloaded the Ultra Leap system and SDK and all this kind of stuff on the video. And do make sure you enable the bell guys because I will be testing all this once I receive the power supply to my computer so it's fixed. Hopefully that fixes it. Um, you know, so for future videos. So do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe. So once you've enabled it, then uh, normally what would happen is, so for example, this person here, Okay, I think it's this person here. No, it's not this one. Okay, this person here did a through the lens uh, video. I will put a link below to all the videos I've watched, by the way, just to let you know. So do go and feel free to watch them yourself. He says so that- I'm gonna try to hit a- So he says that basically, uh, now this is through the lens using his VR headset. He doesn't actually say what VR headset he used. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing here to say anything, but I, I don't know whether it's, oh, okay, so he news. okay, he, I don't know what, uh, his name is 8A Simulators. He doesn't mention the actual headset he's using, so uh, it could be an HTC, it could be a Valve Index, uh, or it could be, you know, an, an HP Reverb G2. It looks more like an HP Reverb G2 simply because of the blurring on the sides. It, it reminds me more of an HP Reverb G2 uh, than anything else. Also, the video is posted on October 18, 2021, so really not so long. So he says he has issues where the hands uh, disappear and also where the hands go inside of the actual console and he can't actually uh, press on buttons. So I'm thinking that the reason why he's having the issues is perhaps, I don't know, maybe, maybe there are some issues with him, but he, he's they, they, apparently, I went online, I read, apparently some planes uh, back in August were not compatible with uh, some of the leap uh, motion or ultra leaps technology. So it's very possible that not every single plane is also compatible with it. Now I've put the bad away. So let's talk about the good. Now what you'll notice is that, for example, this guy uh, did a testing using his HP Reverb G2. Oh. And then he basically enabled everything. And then here uh, you can see the hands and then you can clearly see him uh, pressing on the buttons, uh, not having any issues whatsoever, uh, you know, pressing on the dials. He personally says that he doesn't have an issue. So for him, no problems whatsoever. Uh, all good, all working absolutely fine. You can press on every button. So no issues for this fellow here. And then if we go to this one here, here we go. This guy also, now apparently there was someone else who said that sometimes uh, when, you, when your hands are below the, the, the motion leap uh, sensor, then the actual, there will be some issues with the sensor. But I'm gonna show you that actually that's not the case on this video. Now, just in case you're not familiar guys, mm -hmm. Uh, this th this shows you the mo the, the Ultra Leap system is the world's most advanced hand tracking technology for PC VR. At this moment, it is also compatible with all the XR2 chips, including the Quest, MetaQuest, Oculus Quest 2, uh, the Vive, uh, Valve Index, Varjo, Lynx R1, a whole bunch of other VR headsets, including the, as I mentioned, the Pico Neo 3 Pro and also the uh, HP Reverb G22, uh, I mean, as well. And then here you can see his testing after you download it, what it looks like. I will be doing future videos, guys, as I mentioned before, once I receive my power supply and I can use my GPU again. Uh, hopefully that fixes it. So do enable the bell for those future videos. It is, oh, come on. Oh God, I gotta edit that out. Um, so, so basically you can clearly see that, you know, it, it reacts to every single motion of the fingers of the hand. Uh, it's really cool. So yeah, I know it's really fantastic. So let me just fast forward very quickly to the actual flight. Here we go, we're inside. So as I was saying, you can clearly see him looking down and enabling all the various different knobs there. I mean, it's 
pretty amazing and the graphics look really really sharp really good uh wow even that tiny little button it's just amazing absolutely amazing as to what you can do um you know it's pressing every single knob every little dial there everything working perfectly fine apparently when the uh motion leap the basically the hands disappear from the actual tracking uh the hands might actually stick uh on the screen apparently it happens sometimes uh, but they don't stick for very long they stick for maybe a few seconds uh, before they disappear uh, so you may encounter that as well and as i mentioned i'm trying to find the actual list of planes that work because apparently it is possible that some planes aren't working it's possible uh although this video for example was posted on october 15 um, in dcl world 2.7 and this is his first test ever using the ultra leap system as well so he's not using his controllers this is purely using your hands uh i mean that is really amazing and you don't need a yoke you don't need the dash system uh, at home all right so i just want to interrupt the video for one minute because there is a quick update by this guy uh who basically did this really cool video called juan pedro fisa noti and i'll put a link to the description below now first of all this guy teaches you to install everything that you need in order to make it work on your HP. Now he's using the previous model of the HP Reverb, not the newest model, uh, which is pretty cool because, you know, of course things have improved since then. And also his video was posted uh, in August 14, 2021. So since then, there have been some improvements to the driver of the Ultra Leap system. However, what I thought was very interesting as to what he was talking about was that you do need your DAS system if you want to fly the plane using your hands. You can't just basically interact. Uh, probably the, the you can't actually interact with the actual controls in terms of how you fly your system unless you have your keyboard or your DAS system. And also what I'd like to point out is that he mentions that uh, when he is uh, looking down, especially when you're trying to take off and you have to prepare your airplane or your aircraft, you have to, he says it's better to still use his keyboard or his mouse because, um, or, or his controllers because when he's looking down, he can't actually really tweak the buttons on the bottom part. Although we did see a more recent video, as I just mentioned, uh, not, too, not too long ago in this video, where this gentleman here, uh, you know, had no issues whatsoever. He was able to, uh, sorry, it's this one here, the German guy, okay, here we go. Uh, he, he absolutely had no problems whatsoever. Uh, you know, you can see him fiddling around with the buttons here and all this kind of stuff. So, but he, he says that uh, what Pedro says is that it's very much uh, a touch and go when this happens. And then also, he also mentions that, uh, that when he loses the field of view, uh, when the cameras are no longer uh, tracking the actual hands, uh, sometimes what happens is that the position of his DAS system is no longer the same when he looks back inside of the actual aircraft, which means that when he's trying to use his DAS, I'm just trying to go to a part where he actually shows you. There we go. Uh, you can see here when he's using his DAS system, his hand is actually inside of the cockpit, which could actually then trigger other things to occur in the plane, which can be quite annoying for him so it could be because the camera he maybe it's not placed properly on his headset maybe you're going to need to do a little bit more experimentation or it could be that since august of course it's been fixed uh do leave a comment below let us know uh you know if you have any comments if you've using if you've been using the ultra leap system that'd be really good uh to get your feedback on this so he also says that sometimes he loses like if he uses his mouse um or his key uh, no his mouse and he's not looking at the area then it might trigger something else as well uh, because of that he says that what would be really easy is to trigger the hand tracking to come on screen when you need it or when you don't need it by assigning the hands to specific keys the left one to the L key, the right one to the right key. So when you need your hands, then you can enable them or you can disable them using the keys is what he recommends. So I just wanted to put that in 
to the actual video. So back to the video. But of course, if you have the hardware, um, it would equally be good because then you can feel that you actually have something in your hands. It will give more realism uh, to the actual, of course, uh, virtual reality simulation uh, in terms of you know what's going on. Uh, but here, for example, he's not able to grab the control. So. Um, Maybe it's a plain thing, we don't know. I, I don't know, I'd have to do a lot more research in terms of finding out, because I believe he talks in... Das Problem ist, ich sitze jetzt gerade nicht. Yeah, he talks in German. So this is a, a, a German video. Das Ding an. Ja, guck, da seht ihr, wie meine Hand klebt. Ich habe meine Hand gar nicht dran. Jetzt muss ich nochmal die Hand... Die klebt dann am, am Steuerknüppel fest. <laughs> oh, was ist da los? And one of his hands is just stuck. So basically, he's stuck. His hand is down. Is stuck down there. Okay. Now he's back. Now he's got it. So basically, you would have to. It seems that you have to look at the actual hand for a few seconds to unlock the hand. Otherwise, it will get stuck there if you're moving your headset too fast. Let's skip over to another uh, another video, which is this one here. So as you can see, the hands in this video are moving without any issues whatsoever. He's pressing on the dials without any issues either. So everything seems to be working. The graphics again look really good inside of his uh, VR headset. So everything's working for him, so that's awesome. Uh, and then let's go to this video here. Okay, the solo one of the two. Togliamola, togliamola, fagli dire. So this video is in Italian. Come on, le mani non si possono disattivare perché te le trovi in mezzo alle palle quando non vorresti, però. Con non pochi sbattimenti per settare correttamente tutti i driver, il sistema funziona anche reattivo. So, I don't know if you notice, but sometimes the hand. Sorry, let me just uh, pause this and then pause this one because it's still running. Uh, so, as you can see, the hand sometimes does disappear. This video was posted in January 2021, so quite a long time ago, though. You can use your your hands. However, what I'm trying to find is a video. Ah, there we go. There we go. So one of the controllers goes through. As you can tell. But the other controller on the other side it's absolutely fine. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Nein, das hat hat so keinen Zweck. Aber zum Spielen ist es okay. But he can still press on the buttons. It's possible that uh, you simply cannot uh, use these controls using the Ultra Leap system. Uh, maybe you still have to use your own DAS system or your keyboard. Uh, or, or whatever it might be in order to fly the plane. So I can't, I'm not going to speculate. I can't confirm this until I'm, I'm able to seek more understanding as to how this part works. But if you guys have DCS and you guys have used DCS uh, with, you know, your, um, uh, with, with hand tracking, then please leave a comment below. Let us know if you can still use all these various different things to be able to actually fly your plane using the Ultra Leaf system. I think that's what would be really good because today's video is really to try and bring you some educational content uh, as to the fact that you can use the Ultra Leaf system for these various different VR experiences, which are now, you know, getting super real. Uh, hand tracking is here. Um, it's making VR much, much much more effective and just 
so much more awesome. I mean, this is what this channel is all about, the practical uses of virtual reality. And you cannot say that the the, the Ultra Leaf system is, 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 is nothing less than practical. It's super practical. Uh, it's really amazing as to what you can do with it. So it just goes to show we're getting that much closer to perfect virtual reality. And I've got to edit this part as well out because he did that finger gesture. All right, never mind. Um, so, all right, guys. Well, this is the end of the video. I just want to welcome some new people to the channel. Uh, so let's just go and do that uh, very quickly. So let me just switch to our VR essentials and our personal. Okay, and then let's just go to here, YouTube Studio. And then let's welcome, guys, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Make sure you like, you reshare, uh, and you, you know, uh, reshare the video on all your social media, your LinkedIn, your Reddit, your Facebook, your Twitter, everywhere that you possibly can so we can reach 10,000 subscribers as soon as possible so that more people can help other people in the community. So I'd like to welcome Ahmed Essa, Music and Sound Effect Library, Moby Pixel, Ivan Lefebvre, Martin Mirola, School King Reacts, Copyright Man, The VR Realm, Society Rejects, and the other dude there in uh, Arabic. I'm very sorry, I don't know don't know how to say your name, but welcome to you. I'd also like to go to Date Subscribe and very much welcome also Igor Okorukov, Ice Aipinan, uh, DNE Peterson, Peterson, Cosmic Angst, um, uh, N3 Ostro, uh, Cesar Londono, uh, Uwe Tholen, uh, M. Jack Back, uh, Tan Westrudian, and also Nihao Batmas. Guys, thank you so much. You guys are the best. You're super awesome. It's thanks to you that the community is growing. And thanks also to all the others who I haven't mentioned. Big welcome to you guys also to the community. You're super freaking awesome is all I got to say. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you in the comments below. And also do remember, give away brand new HP Reverb G2, brand new pair of cyber shoes, $50 voucher to Quest, Viveport, all the Steam store, and also game keys coming very soon. So do make sure you're unable to bell off to subscribe. Guys, as I said, see you in the comments below and also in another video very soon. Bye bye.